Here it is again. Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Today I'm going to be answering a question from Twitter. This comes by way of iPhone Mac user, and he wants to know what are your thoughts and opinions on the Apple TV? Is and is it a good investment? So, iPhone Mac user, you want to know about the Apple TV and is it a good investment? I got my Apple TV shortly after the first launch, and I don't remember the date. It was a while ago. And uh, since then, Apple TV has had a number of revisions which have made it better. Um, there's even integration now with the iPhone, which makes it actually pretty, pretty freaking cool. Um, the Apple TV is still a niche product. That means that only a certain handful of consumers will get a lot of use out of it. Me, I listen to a great deal of audio podcasts and I also watch a fair amount of video podcasts. And I also watch YouTube videos more so than I do television. So that those three criteria right so by itself puts me in a market for an Apple TV. If you're into online content, all right, the Apple TV is a good investment. If you use iTunes to, to gather that information, a lot of that information as far as videos, movies, I've actually bought a few movies on iTunes. I've got free vouchers from Blu-rays such as Dark Knight and uh, I think a couple more um, that I bought. I got free movie vouchers for the digital copy, so I can watch those on my Apple TV. Apple TV also supports high definition video. So if you don't have a high definition TV, you're not going to get the, the most out of it. Um, I think the Apple TV is, is, is a great device. Um, it's still lacking in some areas. You can't really use it as a DVR. Uh, there is no real way to integrate live TV so that you can record shows from cable or from satellite. A lot of people want that and you can't do it, which leads more people to go who are, who are really enthusiasts on home theater PCs. They'll go get a Mac Mini and they'll trick it out and they'll, you'll be able to get DVR functionality as well as a lot of the functionality you get on the Apple TV. Apple TV out of the box is a really good consumer device. It's easy to use. It's easy to get in the podcast. You can find podcasts. You can do a whole lot of things. Apple did a good job on the user experience. I think the market's not really there yet. Um, I know a lot of people, such as Chris Perillo, he'll he'll look at the Apple TV. He goes, I, I really don't have a use for it, and that I respect that opinion. Everybody doesn't have a use for the Apple TV. I do. I I, I love watching. It. I love using it. Um, you can use it as an extended speaker. So if you got music playing on your iTunes in here, you can use Air Tunes to extend to your Apple TV to play through your stereo in the living room or wherever else your Apple TV is hooked up to. Uh, and your your entire music library, this is one of my favorite features. Since I manage my entire music library in iTunes, I can basically access as much, I got a 40 gigabyte model. I can pretty much access my entire library of music, videos, photos in my living room via this device. It does have wireless built in, I don't have to run an ethernet cable. I think that if you're in that if you're in that boat, Apple TV will work for you. Now that's not a lot of people, all right. That's why the, the Apple TV is still considered a hobbyist or a niche product, and I agree with that. It is, but I am getting a lot of use out of it. I like it, and I don't regret my purchase. So I don't know if this answers your questions, iPhone Mac user, but this is based on my personal thoughts and opinions. Uh, it's. It's not something that I would recommend to a lot of people. When people come to my house and they see it, like my brother came to my house and he saw it, he was like, wow, that's really cool. But it didn't prompt him to go out and run out and buy one because, you know, it's cool to see, you know, you got that, all that stuff is working for you, but it may not necessarily work for me. So uh, that's my thoughts on the Apple TV. It's very niche, very, you know, particular needs with it. Um, and I think if you do get one and you have an iPhone, there's, a, there's a, an app on the iPhone called Remote.app. Now you can control the uh, Apple TV using your iPhone through gesture-based stuff. Very, very cool. And there's also a Boxy app that does similar stuff as well. But uh, if you got an iPhone, like one of the pain points that I had on the Apple TV before was that when entering text, like if I'm logging into YouTube or I'm doing a search on YouTube or something, you have to use the remote to go to each letter. It's, it's really, really, it's just not cool. Now with the iPhone app, you can just type on the iPhone and it goes there. Very, very cool app. So there's close ties to Apple products. All right, this is Warner from Warner TV, iPhone Mac user. I hope this answers your question regarding Apple TV, my thoughts and opinions, and whether you should get one. Take care.